All new at six, the controversy surrounding the sentencing handed out in the trial of Marco Gonzalez. The DA says the jury made a mistake by handing him the wrong sentence and is now speaking out, saying he plans to file an appeal. CBS 4's Nora Salinas is live in Brownsville right now with the latest information. Nora. District Attorney Luis Sainz said that after the verdict, he spoke to the foreman of the jury who said that their intention was to give Gonzalez five years for each count that he was found guilty of and not five years as a whole. And Gonzalez was found guilty on nine counts of aggravated assault stemming from a police standoff back in 2014. Sainz says the jury did not understand that the five years would be served concurrently by state law. The district attorney spoke to members of the Brownsville Police Department this afternoon to explain the verdict. The Brownsville police chief says many are upset by the outcome and does not personal, personally believe justice was served. DA Sign says he also believes the jury made an honest mistake. You know, we are lawyers. The judge is a lawyer. We know this information. The jury, with all due respect, they don't know it. We, we can't expect them to know it. So it's not anybody's fault. It's something that happened. How, what are we going to do to correct it? Ten seconds. Sainz said he is reaching out to Representative Eddie Lucio, urging him to make a new legislation that would overturn a sentence in which a jury made a mistake just like this case. And we spoke to the judge who, judge who presided over this trial. She said she cannot change the jury's decision once it is read out, and she also cannot advise them to make a decision. But she did give us this copy of these documents, which clearly state that the jury can punish Gonzalez from five years to life in prison. Live in Brownsville, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.